What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you what might be the best trading method on FIFA 20. So if you guys are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed and it helps me out a ton. Make sure to turn on notifications so that you can get all the up-to-date sniping filters and trading methods to help you make the most coins. And make sure to go check me out on Twitch, going to be linked in the description. Same as my YouTube name, just FiefG49. We stream almost every day on Twitch, and we're doing a giveaway over there right now, so make sure to go check that out. So with that said, let's jump right into this trading method. So guys, there's a couple different ways to do this trading method, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can show you kind of everything about this. So what we're going to be looking at today, this is all going to be based around non-rare gold cards. So I want to show you right now, non-rare gold cards, they'll basically all sell for about 450 coins. As you can see, there's not many listed here. You're literally, you're going to get about three pages here of non-rare golds listed at about 450 coins. So every non-rare gold is going to sell at 450 coins. And this is kind of what we're going to be taking advantage of and kind of trying to make the most coins out of it. So guys, the first method for you is just going to be sniping. Now you might think this is dumb, but Basically, you're going to set your buy now to 350 and you're going to go through and you're just going to snipe every single player. Now, the thing about this is I know I showed you 450 is the price, but so many of these players go for a lot more coins. And as you can see, it's really easy to pick these guys up. And the reason these guys generally go for a lot of coins is because of league SBCs. If you guys don't know what that is, every major league and a bunch of other leagues, like five or six others, there's about 10, 11, 12 leagues, I don't know, that have league SBCs that basically you need to build the build a team for every team in that league and in the end you'll get like a big player at the end like a team in the season or something so basically a lot of these non rares go for a lot of coins so the first thing you can do is snipe now this might be the most inefficient method but it is a solid one. So I went through and I sniped some players in advance and I just picked some up there. So as you can see, we picked up all of these for 350 coins. So just to show you, let's go check some players here. Let's check this guy, Varg and Zaldua. So basically, you're going to go through, you're going to look at prices. Every single player, you're going to want to check their price because you never know what a player is going for. So this guy. Let's see, we're going to be able to sell him 500 coins. Nothing big, but still some good coins there. Cannot complain about that. And then this guy. So we've got 500, and then we've got 650 for this guy. So as you can see, we're already making some decent coins. So if we go back over to our unassigned here, and we list all of these up right here. So we're going to take this guy, list him up 500, 150 coins there. Only 25 coins lost on tax. So at this... At this kind of level, I don't really worry about tax, and then 300 coins there. So we've made nearly 500 coins just like that off those players. And then you've got all these guys here. So what I do is I just like to compare price and then kind of list guys up for around what I think they are. Because a lot of times with these cards, you're going to get lazy buyers from people doing league SBCs. And lazy buyers are just people who don't really... Uh, go and check the lowest price for a card they're just gonna go and look at what's close enough so basically you're just gonna kind of list these up for what you think they'll go for and how many coins you think you can get out of them so a lot of time I just kind of go 550 on these cards I feel like that's a good price for lazy buyers and yeah I usually just get a lot of coins out of this so this is the first method just sniping picking all these guys up and as you can see a lot of these I'm gonna be making 200 to 400 coins on and it's just so quick to pick these guys up I definitely think it's worth it but into the next method here guys let's go ahead we get all those cards listed up oh, it looks like okay so yeah into the next method here, we're going to be looking at bidding. Now, after this, we have another method, so you probably could have guessed this, but basically, you're going to set your max bid price to 350 Now, I like to go a couple pages down here, because a lot of stuff gets bid on, so you need to go, like, two minutes ahead and start bidding on cards, because a lot of stuff at the beginning here, as you can see, already has 350 coin bids on it. So I scroll a few pages ahead, keep scrolling here, and I'd probably start around here around two minutes. And basically any card that doesn't have a bid on it already, I go ahead and I just throw a bid down, as you can see. So we're just going to go through. We bid on a ton of these cards now. With bidding, you're not going to pick up every card. It's just about putting a ton of bids down and making sure you pick these up. But with bidding, 
So as you can see, I've been bidding on every player so far, but what I like to do is I kind of like to go through and make sure I'm only bidding on guys that are in, in league SBCs. So if I go through, he's Spanish league, I'll bid on him. He's MLS, I'll bid on him. Belgian league I'll bid on but a lot of times you'll get guys from like the Austrian league and stuff and I kind of try to avoid them like Polish league here I wouldn't bid on him so yeah a lot of these guys that aren't from league SBC leagues I might stay away from when I'm bidding just to ensure I'm getting the best cards and making the most coins but if you want to you can pick up every card just do that it's no problem they will sell on to make you profit no issue there so Basically, the trick here is just making sure you're bidding on solid cards. So let's keep going here. Argentinian League, again, I'd stay away from just because it's not a league SBC. Don't know if he's going to sell, but this guy right here will bid on. We keep, keep bidding on all these guys for about 350 coins. So that's it. I want to show you all the guys I won on bid as well. So before the video started, I went, I won 10 cards on bid. So we're going to go check those out. A lot of league SBC cards, some other ones that aren't league SBC just to show you. So someone that isn't league SBC, I believe we got, no, I actually didn't. I thought I had one that wasn't a league SBC. But to save time, I'm going to send these guys into the club. We're just going to look at the duplicates here. But as you can see, a lot of times on bid, you get some cards that won't pop up um, because they're a little more expensive. Like this guy looks like he might sell about 850 coins. So that's nice. Quick 500 coins on that card. This guy does look a bit cheaper, though. Maybe I list him up 600. So bidding, you might get some cards that you might not get on sniping just because they are a bit more expensive and people recognize their price. So that's kind of the advantage with bidding is that you can get a lot more cards that go for a bit more coins and kind of pick them up for cheaper. So, into our final method. So, it, it's not really anything different, it's just kind of a way you approach these two methods. So, for this method, what you do is you're gonna start out with your bidding. You're gonna take this, so basically, you're gonna flip all the way as far as you can, really far down the line here, just so there's not too many bids you can bid on on as much stuff as you want. Now this method, it's about being consistent, being on the game. So if you've got time, this is gonna make you a ton of coins here. So let me flip to the end here. So this is probably far enough. So what you do is you're literally gonna bid on every single player, it doesn't matter the league. If they don't have a bid on them, you're gonna throw a bid down, no problem. So let me start by doing this. So basically we have to go through bid on every player to start with. So keep this going literally just every single card here so you keep going until you fill your transfer targets up now transfer targets you can hold up to 50 cards this is basically when you bid on cards if you're on the main transfer page it's the tab in the bottom right it says transfer targets you can have up to 50 cards on here so you're gonna fill this up with 50 cards on bid you're gonna go through bid on everything like I am right here you're just going to go through, drop a bit on all of it. And once you are at 50, it will let you know on this main transfer page here. So you just keep going here until you get notified that you are at 50. Now, I'm sure we're pretty close here. Let's see if we get this notification soon. It'll just say like transfer targets is full. You cannot do that right now. So we're going to go through, bid on all these cards as much as possible and then we'll get into the next phase of this method right here the most efficient way of doing this so basically we've got to be really close here right that's a guy we bid on before wow we were way down the line here we we're way down the line so we're getting close to the end here we just keep dropping bids on all these guys so getting close getting close a lot of these guys we dropped the bids on already Come on, I want to get into the next phase here. How are we not at 50 yet? We've been on so many cards here. I can't imagine we have more than five left, but we'll stop it there once that loads. As you can imagine, we'll be at 50 transfer targets right here. So we're at 42, we could have done eight more. So basically you have that all set. Then you're going to come in here and you're, you're just going to snipe and you're going to wait for those cards that you've picked up to expire so that you can send them into your club and sell them. So you're going to sit here and snipe while you're waiting for bids. So you've bid on every card up to about four to five minutes, just as many as you can fit on there. And basically then you're going to come over here and you're going to snipe for a while. You're going to try to pick up as many cards as possible. So once you fill up as many bids as you can, you're going to come over here and you're going to keep sniping cards. This is kind of the longest I've gone without seeing a card. This is a bit surprising here. Usually these guys pop up really quickly, but basically you're going to come over 
and snipe while you're waiting for the bids. And you just keep sniping, keep sniping, and then once all of your bids have kind of expired, you wait for all that, you're gonna clear all your expired ones, you're gonna grab all these ones right here, you're gonna hit left trigger to assign all, and you're gonna take all of these. So again, to save time, I'm gonna send these into the club. And basically, now you've got a bunch of cards you've bid on that have kind of expired, and you have all of the uh, all of the cards you've sniped while you were waiting for cards to expire while bidding. So you've kind of spent your time very efficiently while by going and bidding all the cards, and then while you're waiting, instead of just sitting there staring at your bids, basically you're gonna go through and you're gonna snipe while you're waiting for that. It's kind of the best way to do this, it's the most efficient, help you make the most coins, and spend your time wisely while you're on the game. So it's a really easy method here, a couple different ways to do it. This, this last way kind of combines everything to make sure you're being the most efficient you possibly can. But guys, if you have any questions, make sure to drop it down in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. As you can tell, things are selling, these cards we picked up. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.